right, this is Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV, and what we're doing here today is a five-minute APA tutorial. It's APA Basic, and uh, these are some of my favorite cards. These are the old classic cards. Uh, they don't have really the stats on them. I like that. I like just looking at the card and trying to figure out how he did, and that's a, a fun way of kind of, uh, you know, guessing at uh, the, the, the value of the player and so on. And once you get yeah, once you start becoming familiar with the number sequences and so on, and the number results, depending on the the uh, on base situation, it becomes um, you you get pretty good at it. All right, so this is you need to use the chart book. This is one thing about Appa. This is essential for the game. Now, this is my favorite chart book. This is about eight by ten, size eight by ten, and so you know it's a spiral bound book. And these are you can still find them here and there. Right now, I think they're selling this huge one. I don't like that one. I like the small one. So anyway, you have three fielding columns. And I'll tell you, this is the Reds against the Giants. This is an actual game. It was Seaver against Vita Blue, April 4th, 1979. Um, so the Giants were had a poor record. They were 71 and 91. You add up these numbers. You see that everybody has a fielding number well you add all those up and that'll give you either fielding column one two or three the poorer teams are on three the average teams on two and the better teams are on one today the reds that who were 90 and 71 are on one the giants who were 71 and 91 the opposite of the reds were on three so we're going to be looking anything that's a fielding number and from 12 to 41 basically we're going to be looking here on this side um, the hit numbers for the pitcher are going to be against blue. Blue is a C pitcher. So we're going to, the hit numbers are 7 to 11. We're going to look here. So we're going to look here. We're going to look here. Depending on the number, I'll show you how that works. This is very, very simple. You're not going to struggle with this at all. And uh, let's do this. You can get these card sets for about 50 bucks. You know, sometimes higher. Prices have gone up a lot. Uh, you know, more and more people are just playing because of covid and just like the world has changed a little bit i think we're all going and also because of you know the the price increases any doing anything going to a restaurant or something is like crazy it's not like it was before anyway all right kenny ken griffey's going to start us off and we're going to roll i'm going to use a dice shaker we're going to use a large a large uh d6 and a small d6 you read the large you don't add them together you read them in sequence right you read the large one and the small one let's do it all right, that's a 3 and a 5, a 35. That's going to be a 9 against Vita Blue, who is a C. So we look at 9, and 9 says pop fly to third base, one out. This game plays very, very fast. Lots of guys do season replays because it plays so fast. And they like that, and that's that's fun because, you know, it doesn't take forever. Now the Master Game is a whole other story, right? All right. Um, Dave Concepcion, his nickname is Bozo. I don't know if that's true or not. The F stands for fast. That has an effect, his base running. Um, there's only uh, S, blank, and then F. So let's roll for him. Light of blue looks in to uh, Mark Hill for the sign. And here's the pitch. It's a 23. That's going to be a 28. Remember, I told you that they're fielding column three. And that's going to be a 6-3 to three unless there's a K on Vita Blue's card. There is no K. All he has is a Y. Let me show you. He's a C and a Y. And you can just write that down to remember it. There's not a lot of letters. When he when there's a picture that's a K, it's unusual, and you'll know it. Um, so it's going to be a bouncer to the shortstop. Who is it short? Roger Metzger. Over to first, and that's out number two. Next batter is Joe Morgan. As you can see. He's a seven to second base. Those are the numbers you add up so you know where which uh, fielding column you're going to be in. Pitcher column is separate from the fielding column. So we're going to roll here. There's already two outs. Plays very fast. It's a 51 and a nine. So blue is really lucky today because we're rolling nines instead of sevens and eights and elevens because those would be hits. But the nine against the seat pitcher is always an out, and that's going to be another pop-up. And this is to the left side in foul ground, but the ball comes back into fair ground. And the third baseman, Daryl Evans, makes the catch. And that, my friends, retires the side. This is Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV, five-minute tutorial. You get a sense of what app is all about. 
remember to come over to Facebook and to uh, join the uh, Universal Baseball Association Facebook group, and you'll get tons of great, interesting information. We got an amazing group of guys that uh, provide the uh, group with lots of content, and uh, they're very, very knowledgeable, and you'll get all kinds of information. You know, it's it's a very eclectic uh, 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 group where you 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 get a lot of different information about a lot of different.